Farmers are facing challenges in crop production, environmental challenges, pests and diseases. Therefore, it's very important for farmers who want to get the best yield and the best crops. When BT crops are planted, it's very important to implement an integrated pest management plan. It assists in ensuring durability of the biotech traits that are introduced into the environment. IPM is when farmers use a variety of pest control techniques and measures in their pest management program instead of relying on just one method for control. That means using a combination of cultural, biological, mechanical and chemical methods including biotechnology to manage pests in the most cost-effective, environmentally sound and socially acceptable way. These biotech crops provide farmers with an additional tool to protect their crops against insect damage. This helps farmers to diversify their pest management strategies, ensuring they are economical and suitable for their farming conditions. The three main genetically engineered crops planted in South Africa are maize, cotton and soybean. And there were over 2.7 million hectares of these crops planted in 2019 alone. How do insects develop resistance to IR crops? A small number of insects in the population are naturally resistant to the IR trait. When crops with the IR trait are initially used, it controls almost all of the insects in the population. A few survivors that are resistant to the IR trait will lead to the next generation of resistant insects when they mate with other resistant or semi-resistant insects. This is how resistance develops in IR crops, but it can also develop with the use of other long-term pest control methods. Insects can uh, develop resistance. It's very, very important that you apply at the right time because the chemical works effectively at a certain stage of development of the pest. The responsible use of any crop protection tool is based on the principles of IPM. Because IPM requires employing a variety of pest management techniques, pests are less likely to develop resistance because not just one method is relied upon. This means that the available pest control technologies will have a longer lifespan and remain effective well into the future. There are several practices that farmers can employ to manage resistance such as Scouting to know what pests are present to help inform their pest management strategies Crop rotation by either planting different crops or alternating between IR crops and non-IR crops in consecutive years Planting IR crop varieties with stacked traits with multiple modes of action Planting a mandatory crop refuge area with non-IR crops. We have to use it responsibly so that even in future they can also farm from generation to generation. For detailed information on managing resistance, visit www.croplife.co.za. CropLife, helping farmers grow.